guys, I changed my mind. I did not see this coming at all. Like, I never thought this was how I would feel. I don't know why, I don't know how. I have gotten the hate comments for being- I had a feeling you'd come back and say me. Only wait. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hi guys, and welcome back to another vlog with Z and C. Is that how we address ourselves nowadays? We're branding ourselves that way, but we had a wonderful morning. We just uh, got back from church, or we didn't get back, but we're in the car. We went to church this morning, mm -hmm. and I was looking forward to this. I'm not kidding, all week, because last week we went with Zach's family. This was like... I don't know, I've been to this church before, but I just enjoyed it so unbelievably much. I talked about it a little bit, like two vlogs ago. I grew up going to the Catholic church. I Nothing wrong with the Catholic church, but for me, and I went, I went every single Sunday, but it just never made sense of like, the homily was only a few minutes, and like that was truly like the message, and then the whole rest of the time I was just thinking about other things, and I know I shouldn't have been, but like bored because it, we were just doing the same exact thing, like just, just readings and, I don't know, like the fact that churches like this exist, like this is I guess like a Christian church where it's literally just beautiful music at the beginning and then the whole rest of the church is just like the guy, the guy, Charlie is the pastor with a message like, oh, it's just like, I can't believe this exists. I would love to find something like this in New York. I mean, I'm leaving Ohio in two days. Are you like devastated? You're crying, Zach, it's okay. We'll make it through. I realized like, I'm not kidding, within the last, decade maybe this is so not good to admit but i'll admit it i have literally not worked on like who i am as a human and that sounds awful like i've literally only worked on a like appearance or looks like i spend so much time buying makeup and hair stuff and all of that or b making money i was looking back at my old journals and i posted some of them on instagram oh my gosh like I used to spend so much time like working on bettering myself and focusing on that and I feel like I it, like I dropped the ball on that because at the end of the day like I consider myself to be a nice kind person right like but you can always work on yourself and I don't know I'm just like so excited to like start doing that again I feel so happy when I'm working on that okay so we just parked outside fusion I don't know if you could see it my last time before I leave but Zach wanted to share what happened last time. And this is just like the epitome of who I am and like the situations that I get into. The last time we went into Fusion, we both had to go to the restroom and we were walking <laughs> past the workers because there was nobody else in line. So they were looking, I mean, they were just looking at us, we're customers. But they didn't Clancy, know we were customers. They obviously know we're customers. And Clancy had to announce to them that we were gonna go to the restroom and be right back. I said, I was like, oh, I just have to go pee. And like, it just was so, I realized after I said it like this, they were like, oh, okay. Because I wanted them to know we were paying customers. So, oh, it just, it created a very awkward situation. But anyway, one last fusion. I missed this place so much. You guys know my order, chicken, brown rice, cucumber, carrot, avocado, sweet soy sauce, and then Zach has this little, this little mess. And now Zach and I are playing one of our favorite games where we drive around and pretend what it would be like to live in a house as beautiful as these. It's kind of depressing, but this is like one of the nicest neighborhoods in Dayton. Zach and I were watching the Murdoch Murders, a Southern Scandal on Netflix, which it was interesting, but they just dragged it out way too much. Like it could have been told in just one episode and it's three. However, this is the main event, Tommy Fury versus Jake Ball. I cannot believe we are sitting here watching this. Yeah, I mean, it's not because like, we're like boxing enthusiasts. It's just in, like these two are two dorks that are internet. Like it's just funny. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really curious. I don't know who the heck's gonna win. For the record, who do you think's gonna win? Paul. I, I'm gonna go for Fury. Step Let's say this is too Coming good. To the winner by split decision, Tommy. Oh my gosh! Hi guys. It is almost 4 p.m. and I'm about to attempt to eat my first food of the day. And the key word here is attempt because I don't know how this is going to go. It has just been an awful, awful day. I am currently drinking some sparkling water in the hopes that it will help my stomach because just a little spoiler alert, 
I threw up this morning. I threw up for the first time in years. I never throw up. I was just on here like two weeks ago talking about how I had a stomach bug two weeks ago, but I didn't throw up. And this morning, bad things, bad things happened because I woke up and I decided to take Zach to work today. He was going into the office and I didn't want to be Carla. So I was like, I'll take you into work. I put on my workout clothes and I was like, I'll go straight to burn boot camp. Well, as I was like putting on my clothes, I was just like, oh, I feel kind of nauseous. And it was just getting worse and worse and worse. By the time we were on our way to Zach's work, like I was just like, I don't know what's happening. I'm obviously not going to burn boot camp. Like I'm just ill at this point. We switched seats obviously when he got to work and then I started driving back home, back to Zach's parents' house. And my teeth started like doing that like grinding thing like uncontrollably. And that is like a dead giveaway that I'm going to throw up. And I'm freaking out because I haven't thrown up in so long. It's been over a decade since I had a legit stomach virus where I was throwing up and then I, I did throw up a couple of times in college from drinking too much alcohol twice. I've thrown up three times in my entire life from alcohol, once in high school, two times in college. But anyway, that's beside the point. I realized I was in trouble and I'm like just thinking I'm gonna throw up all over Zach's car. Finally, I end up getting home, running upstairs, and then I just you know, I start puking into the toilet. And the reason this is so frustrating is because I have like had every sickness over the last two weeks. It is insane. I have not had a break. And I cue the comments, first of all, like, please guys, I don't know why, I don't know how. I have gotten hate comments for being sick. I just responded to one the other day, like someone's like, I don't know how you're always sick, like that. Like making it sound like it's a bad thing. Obviously it's a bad thing, but like making it sound like it's my fault. I wash my hands. Like, I don't know what to tell you. And I just told that person, like, be grateful that you're not sick all the time. Like, and I'm not normally sick all the time. I'm just going through a rough patch. So yeah, cue that comment. And then also, I know everyone's gonna comment saying, you're pregnant, morning sickness. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. No, no, I'm not pregnant, guys. My mom is even like doing that, like saying it. And it's like, I'm not. And when you're so sick and people are like saying that, it's just so frustrating because you're like, no, like I just, I'm, I'm sick. Like I'm allowed to be sick. If I was a man, you wouldn't be telling me I'm pregnant right now. The reason I haven't gone to urgent care with like my cough and all, they never do anything for me. They never do anything for me. I always go there and they always just tell me to rest and drink plenty of water. Like, and it's, I always leave there saying like, why did I come? But I think tomorrow I am going to go to urgent care because like something is wrong. If I have a cough and like, and the stomach problem, like it, none of it adds up. None of it adds up. And I'm just like so frustrated at this point. Oh, on top of it. So I threw up and then I was just sleeping all day. And I was kind of like in and out of sleep at this one point where I hear a knock on the door. It was Zach's dad telling me we were under a tornado warning. Warning, watch, whatever the worst one is, whatever the one where like the tornado is coming, you need a shelter in place because I'm upstairs. Like this is like the upstairs. So I'm like, he, by the way, has no idea I'm sick. He probably thinks I'm just like a lazy freak who decides to sleep in the middle. It's like 2 p.m. Like in the middle of the day, I'm just sleeping just because that's what I do. No, so I'm like trying to explain to him like, by the way, I'm sick. We shelter in place. It was kind of really scary. I forgot how scary these tornadoes are. Luckily, it didn't come to us. Uh, there was one that west of us though. It was really crazy. Just like watching that all happen. And, and gosh, I have such respect for TV news, reporters and anchors and everyone behind the scenes, especially like having been on the other side and just what they do is so unbelievably important. That is, I'm going on a rant right now, but that is the news that I love. Like I don't love covering like a fire or a shooting. I'm just, it just, it just feels so ex exploitative, exploit, exploitive, whatever. Explo it feels like we're exploiting people. This though, like tornadoes and weather, it's like you're saving lives. Anyway, random rant. So that happened. Then meanwhile, I get a notification that my flight tomorrow morning, I'm supposed to finally go back to New York. Probably not gonna happen. There's a snowstorm in New York. What are the odds? We've not gotten snow at all this year in New York. And so I had to rebook that. I'm now not flying out tomorrow. And anyway, now I'm sitting here with my turkey sandwich and I have to pick Zach up from work in like, 30 to 40 minutes. I'm, I obviously regret driving him. Driving him was like the stupidest thing I ever did. So that's, that's today. I'm so sorry that I feel like all my vlogs are just me being sick lately, but I don't know what is happening to me. Also, the, the flowers Zach got me, we definitely need to uh, ditch these. These are my, they're now black, my black Valentine's Day flowers. Right now I'm picking Zach up from work and I feel like I'm picking my little kid up from preschool. <laughs> there he is! I couldn't even see him, but I just recognized his walk right away. It's like, it's just so distinct. Hello. Hello, dear. <laughs> the vlog wanted to say hi. I told them no, but 
I uh, wanted to. Well, you're in control, so that's weird. <laughs> How's work? Fine. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Good morning, guys. I'm feeling a lot more like a human today. I just got back from the gym. I also went to Whole Foods, which I got a lot of my usual suspects. I feel like I never show my hauls just because they're pretty boring. We've got grapes, we've got bread, we've got asparagus, avocado, potatoes, but this caught my eye. I've seen so many people talk about seaweed snacks and I just have to give it a try. I feel like it's one of those things that people lie about loving just because it's like low in calories or whatever. So I'm gonna give you guys the cold, hard, honest truth. Ew, these kind of look disgusting. Look at this. It seriously does look like something you found at the bottom of the ocean. This, this does not look great. Oh, nope, nope. It tastes so fishy. Okay, granted, it's seaweed. I should have known what it would taste like, but like that is not it, especially the day after you threw up. No. Okay, everyone can finally rejoice. I am going to the doctor, which I realized one of the reasons it's taken me so long to get here, I have, what's the word, like imposter syndrome? Not That's not like the right word, but I always think I'm not sick enough to go to the doctor. Like I feel like I'm just gonna go and he's just gonna be like, you're fine, just drink water, get rest, and then I'll go home. But at this point, it's been over two weeks. Everything is wrong with me from throat to cough to stomach. And it, I, I just, I need to go to the doctor. It's what I'm doing. It's, it's just the urgent care because I don't have a doctor here. But I just, I feel like I need to like do my due diligence and be like, hey, bro, you know what's wrong with me. So we'll see. All right, I am back from the doctor. I've been given three medications to take, which I don't like. One of them is an antibiotic, one of them is a steroid, and then she wants me to do an inhaler two times a day because I guess when she was checking my lungs, I was wheezing a little bit. I don't know, it feels like a lot. I don't like necessarily wanna take all this medicine, but at the same time, I just wanna be healthy again. Oh, and there was like no explanation for why I threw up yesterday. So that's still a mystery, but at this point I feel fine stomach wise, so whatever. Sadly, my medicine was not ready yet, so I figured I'd just come here. I just had a turkey sandwich, and it is time for me to provide a little update because, guys, I changed my mind again, and I, I keep changing my mind about this whole living situation where Zach and I are just so unsure where we want to live. I mean, what's what's making the stakes, like, so high is we want to buy a house, and I know we can just rent for another year, but we are like so beyond ready to own a home. We just are. It's like, I, I, I was so gung-ho on renting in St. Petersburg. Like, we're just gonna rent it for another year. This is gonna be amazing. I set up all these apartment tours. And when I was doing the math on the rent prices in my head, I'm just like, this is not, it just does not feel right. Not for me. For so many people, that could be the way to go. For example, in New York City, you have no choice but to like throw all your money into rent. But for us, like, if you do the math, I mean, guys, some of the apartments, when you add in, like, utilities and, like, the parking, we're talking 4K a month, okay? 4K. 4,000 times 12 means in an entire year, we would just be giving $48,000 to a, a random company. It, it's not going into a home. It's not going into, like, an investment. It's just, here's 48K. Hope you have a great day. Like, it just did not feel right for us. It just did not feel like the right decision. And all along, I was the one who was saying like, oh, like, we're young, like, let's just do this. Like, I was so into it, but it just didn't feel right. And so we were just still so set on St. Petersburg, and then we threw Charlotte into the mix. And within the past, I mean, really since I got here, since I got to Ohio, I guess two weeks ago, I've just been feeling like, wait a minute. I don't think I want to move away from Ohio. I just don't. And I was trying to like plant the seed in Zach's head of like, what about Dayton being near his family? It's just like, as I've gotten older, my priorities have shifted. They just have. And Zach rolled out Dayton, but Cincinnati even, because last Saturday we went out to dinner and drinks with a couple of Zach's friends and their, you know, fiance, wife, like the girls. It was just so nice. And it's just so nice having so many people here who we love. And like all along we said, we can move to Charlotte, we can move to St. Pete, and we'll meet people, we'll meet friends, we'll make friends. Of course we will, I have no doubt about that. But at the same time, like, we have such good people here. Zach's family, I mean, even if we lived in Cincinnati, they're only an hour away, less than an hour away. And 
I just don't know if I want to move away from everyone. And Zach has way more friends in Cincinnati than I do. At this point, so many of my friends have moved away because as a TV news reporter, that's kind of just, it comes with the territory. A lot of people kind of just come in for a few years and they move out. But I still do have some like solid people I love here, of course. And then Zach's friends. And it's so weird because Zach is the one who is so set on moving away from everyone. And yet he has more people here than I do. But I just like, even on Saturday, like he was just so happy being around his friends and me, like we were all hanging out. Like, it, like I feel like he almost doesn't know what's good for him. Like, I feel like I have to like awaken his soul to this. And I have been, I've been trying to like plant the seed. Like maybe we should just stay in Cincinnati. The big thing, the only thing, the weather. I dream of living in a place that is warmer, I do. Even like, we obviously have like St. Pete, that's super warm. Charlotte, even that's like what, like 10 degrees warmer, 20 degrees, like however many degrees warmer, it's, it's better than this. But the big difference is we don't have friends and family in Charlotte. And especially considering we are going to want to have kids in the next few years, I'm sure. Do we want to be all the way away from everyone? Like, do we really want that? And I don't know, I, I've just, these are just like all these like thoughts that have been popping into my mind. I did not see this coming at all. Like I never thought this was how I would feel, but I do. And like, as I was telling Zach, like, I really feel like we should stay here. He was saying, but when we were in Nashville and Charlotte and St. Pete, we never felt that way. Like we were never like, oh my God, we miss our friends so much. No offense to our friends, like we love them, but we never were like so homesick or bored. Like we were having so much fun making new friends and meeting new people and even just experiencing life, the two of us. And I agree with that. I do, that is a solid point, but I don't know. Like I just, the way I see it, we're both so happy anywhere. Like we really have been happy in every single city we're in. Cincinnati just has the bonus of, we have so many people we love here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and also the big bonus is you get so much more bang for your buck. In St. Petersburg, looking at houses is depressing. Like your money just does not go far and Oh, like I, I, I hate the houses so much there. Like I really genuinely hate them. Like not all of them, but like 95% of them. In our price range, of course, I'm sure there are like $2 million ones that are beautiful, but in our price range. So yeah, that is where I'm currently at in this situation. I was scrolling yesterday. My mom actually sent me this house. I had seen it before where I'm like, this house is kind of beautiful. And I emailed the real estate agent and I set up a tour tomorrow. I don't know what to expect. It's in a really great town, but I just, I have no idea what to expect because I've had it happen before where you look at the photos and you're like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And then you get there and the layout is just different than you think. It's smaller or it just looks different. It feels different. Like you really have to go in person, which is why I quickly booked it. Cause I'm like, you know what? I don't know when I'm coming back to Ohio. Let's just see it. And I will feel bad. I mean, I shouldn't feel bad. My mom was telling me like, this is their job, but I will feel bad. Like it's a private touring. So, you know, I almost feel obligated to buy it, but like I can't be obligated to buy an entire house. So we'll see. It's also kind of, you know, I'm always looking for signs. You guys know I had to cancel my flight this morning, by the way, it was because of a big snowstorm in New York. Well, my flight was on time, so I didn't even have to cancel it, but looking for signs, you know, something made me cancel that flight and stay an extra two days. And maybe it's so that I could see this house. Maybe not. I am like, like reaching for signs at this point. I have faith that what is meant to be will be, but like, I need to like start making some moves because I think both Zach and I are ready to like continue our lives together. <laughs> I think part of the reason I'm coming around again to liking Ohio is because we've been having these beautiful sunny days and it hasn't really been too cold. So I'm starting to forget what true winter is like. And I feel like this is like clouding my judgment, but I just like love it when it's sunny here. It's so perfect. Welcome back. Oh, uh, hey dear. <laughs> We're here again. Also, people are gonna wonder, Zach does not like driving with me, like when I'm the driver. So I'm just gonna drive. Oh, is that what's happening? All right, Zach, what are your thoughts on moving back to Cincinnati? I would do it, obviously, and I think if we found the right place, we would be happy. I'm just not sure if it's just because we're back now that we're we're thinking about it versus if we were gone, would we rather stay gone? Like our mindset was when we were gone, we'll have to see. Would we rather stay gone? I was filling them in that you are 
oddly enough, less inclined to stay in Cincinnati than I am, and yet you have way more friends here than me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm less inclined. I just think I'm trying to keep everything into perspective, and I mean, we enjoyed it very much when we were in Charlotte and St. Pete, so. You definitely are less inclined, Zach. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know, guys. I just don't even know. Our lives are just one big confusing mess, but at least we have each other, right? <laughs> Thank goodness. Home is where you are. Oh, that is so true, Zach. Great point. We can live anywhere and be happy. Even New York. New York is literally Zach's biggest nightmare since the day he <laughs> met me and I said, Hi, I'm Clancy. I'm from New York. Zach's biggest nightmare. Tell me the top thing you hate about New York the most. I don't hate anything about New York. Oh gosh, when the camera's <laughs> off, it's when he really starts. What do you dislike? I don't know. The traffic. The <laughs> towns are weird. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the birds are out and I'm just like so ready for spring. I decided to go for a little walk in Zach's parents' neighborhood, which is so nice. Like I seriously, I'm not kidding, before I moved to Ohio, I didn't know communities like this existed where it's like new new home communities. I like I, there's a word for it. I don't know what the word is, but on Long Island, we literally just don't have that unless like I there are like communities for the rich. Like if you're in like a three million dollar home maybe you have like a gated community but i just like love this whole area so much and just like being able to walk outside the ultimate mood booster which today was arm day at the gym which i have not been going to just because of my shoulder issues i definitely felt my shoulders so i don't know i can't like skip out on it forever i was just trying to lift really low in weight but the thing about upper body day is like you're really not moving that much you're kind of just like doing doing a bunch of like these, you know, like you're stagnant, your heart rate isn't up as much. So on those days and lower body days, I love to like go for a walk or like something to, not that my heart rate like skyrockets during walks, obviously, but like just something to like move. I guess like that's the key word, but it's just such a beautiful evening. It's a lot later. Zach and his dad are watching some sort of zombie movie. I, or not movie, but a TV show that I have not been following. So I just came up here and I'm about to start this book. It's going to be my next read. It's called Love Pamela by Pamela Anderson. I recently watched her Netflix documentary and it was actually really good. So I am hoping I can read this and then get a solid eight hours of sleep tonight and hopefully wake up feeling like a different human. Although why do I doubt that will even happen? <laughs> I am currently sitting outside the gym at 5.50 a.m. This is very not like me. I normally just go to like the 8.30 workout class, 7.15 if they have it. 6 a.m. is early for me, but I'm an idiot, and I decided to take the steroid that my doctor told me not to take at night because it'll keep me up all night. Well, I took it at night because I was so desperate to get my first dose in that I just like didn't even care, and you know what? I feel like my cough is getting better, so I'm so happy about that. And obviously I'm on antibiotics, like I'm not contagious anymore. It's just this stupid cough that won't go away. And I'm so terrified that I read online, it could take weeks to months, like that, that would just not be ideal. So anyway, I'm about to get a workout in, and maybe it's a good thing I took the medication. Really just get me out of the house. Let's get this day started. All right, I'm back from the gym. That felt really good to get it in early. Like I always go so back and forth because obviously you guys know I don't have a like nine to five job where I have to wake up early. So I'm like, why would I do that to myself? But at the same time, I'm just, I'm a morning person. I love starting my day early. Like I just, I just, I thrive under those conditions. So I might have to reevaluate my life back home because in New York, or it's not even my home, but I'm going back to my parents tomorrow geez tomorrow but they either have a 6 a.m or a 9 30 a.m and like the 9 30 is just way too late for me in my life but i am currently in the middle of filming three different pieces of content i have this vlog i already started this morning another vlog and then i'm filming a tiktok vlog so my brain is kind of going to explode and i think i'm going to leave this on a little cliffhanger and continue on with this other vlog because I have felt, especially with getting sick, I've just been so behind, like, on things. Like, normally, if I have three days to film, like, that's plenty of content. When I'm sick and I'm not feeling well, it's just really hard for me to film, and it's like, I don't mean to make an excuse, because I was just thinking, like, if I was reporting right now, I don't know what I would be doing, because you can't just take off two weeks of work, but I've just, like, not been <laughs> well. So, finally, hopefully, we are on the upswing. I think I said this last vlog, and then things got tragically worse, and I puked. But hopefully, we really are on the upswing, and I can just, like, get better and produce good content where I'm not just, like, sick 
all day. <laughs> you guys have no idea how many times I edit out me coughing in my vlogs. Back to my parents is how <coughs> because just speaking, especially laughing, like really triggers the coughing response. So there's a lot of editing I've been having to do lately, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. We're going to see this house tomorrow or today. Gosh in just a few hours like it's gonna be one of those things where we walk in and we're either like oh my gosh this is amazing or we're like and now oh my gosh my battery's actually about to die that's a sign okay all right i'll talk to you guys later bye